a prayer for the state of Israel. Avinu Sheba Shamayim, Sor Israel Vigoalo, Barech et Medinat Israel, Reshit Smichat Guatenu, Hagen Aleha Bevrat Hastecha, Ufros Aleha Sukat Shlomecha, Ushlach Orcha Vamitchal Rosha, Sarav Yoatzea, Vitaknein Beitza Toba Milapanecha. Chazeket Idei Vigenim Eretz Kodshenu, and Chilein Melohim Yeshua Ba'at Herat Nitzachon, Nitzachon Tatrem, and Atanta Shalom Ba'aretz, the Simchat Olam Yoshimea. O God in heaven, Israel's rock and redeemer, bless the state of Israel, the first flowering of our redemption. Shield her under the wings of your loving kindness and spread over her the tabernacle of your peace. Send your light and truth to its leaders, ministers and counselors, and direct them with good counsel before you. Strengthen the hands of the defenders of our holy land. Grant them deliverance, our God, and crown them with the crown of victory. Grant peace in the land and everlasting joy to all of its inhabitants. Please be seated for a moment. As I was asked to share a few brief words about the unshakable and unbreakable and inseparable bond between the United States and Israel, as we will, in a few moments, chant the two national anthems. My wife and daughter left for Israel this past Saturday. This past Sunday, that'd be a big problem. <laughs> They left this past Sunday for a pre-bat mitzvah trip of my eldest daughter, Mayan. They were in Jerusalem this morning when the Tseva Adom, when the red siren alert went off. And I was woken up this morning to a call from my wife telling me, not to worry when I look at the news. They are okay. This is not exactly the, the Israel experience that we were hoping for my daughter to have. <laughs> Yet I'd like to share with you, despite all this, when I speak to my daughter on the phone, I hear as she is falling in love with the land just like so many of us have. And then I spoke to my brother, who lives in Efrat, a town nearby Yerushalayim, where he and his wife and four children live. And he said to me, filled with frustration, how do I answer my children when they ask me? Why would anyone want to shoot a racket at us? My children are petrified. And they are scared. And my brother Ezra then said to me that he sat his children down in front of the computer and showed him the YouTube video describing and showing and demonstrating how the Iron Dome works. And they felt so much safer. And then my brother said, we, the citizens of Israel, are so thankful to the United States of America for help funding the Iron Dome program.
Congress after being requested by President Obama in 2010. The United States House of Representatives passed the fiscal year 2013 National Defense Authori uh, Authorization Act with $680 million for the Iron Dome. <laughs> if there is a hero thus far in this war, it is the Iron Dome which represents the partnership and inseparable, unbreakable bond between the United States of America and the State of Israel. <laughs> the United States and uh, the United States of America and Israel are best of friends, closest of allies standing up for freedom and democracy against regimes of terror and hatred. Israel and America stand as one. We stand as one in our desire for a free world, living in peace with our neighbors. We applaud the President Obama for a strong reaffirmation of America's unwavering support for Israel in stating there is no country on earth that would tolerate missiles raining down on its citizens from outside its borders. So we are fully supportive of Israel's right to defend itself from missiles landing on people's homes. And we also need to express our gratitude to our U.S. Senator from the state of Georgia, Senator Johnny Isaacson. For co-sponsoring the resolution that passed unanimously in the Senate, which expressed, and I quote, vigorous support, unwavering commitment to the welfare, security, and survival of the state of Israel as a Jewish and democratic state with secure borders. And, recognize, and recognizing and strongly supported, supporting its right to act in self-defense to protect its citizens against act of terrorism. A vote of 100 to 0. We need Representatives, and we need to speak to the world. We stand together as one, the United States and Israel. We stand here together as one with Israel, Jew and Gentile, regardless of race and ethnicity. The state of Georgia stands with Israel. And we want the people of Israel to be woken up tonight, not by sirens, but by our voice cheering and chanting, we are with you.